time to record a video than while I'm sitting in traffic. Infamous traffic. I haven't made a video in so long. Honestly, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Only because I haven't been doing anything. I've been doing the same things. I've been skating, going to the lake, going to work, going to the gym, and like that's it. For like a month straight now. That's it. What day is it? I think it's Thursday. It's Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. It's like 4.45 in the evening. And of course I'm sitting in traffic. Um, I got off work like, oh, like 1.30. Um, and then I went straight to Midas. I went to uh, this auto shop because my van's been overheating still. It wasn't a coolant problem. It wasn't a radiator problem. My fan, it turns out they told me that it was my, uh, where's the fucking paper? The fan clutch? It was the fan clutch. Something that's in my, uh, that's supposed to keep it cool. It was broken. I fucking forgot where the hell the fan clutch is. But, yeah, I just left Midas. I was there for like a few hours. I'm feeling a little like spending fatigue. Like, don't get me wrong, this is my lifestyle, so I've planned to pour money into my lifestyle, whatever it, it takes to keep this van running. I've planned on it. I'm just not ready to get a new van. Real talk, I'm ready to just like continuously pour money into this van forever. <laughs> but um, it, it gets more and more expensive as each, each time I go in, it gets more and more expensive. So what needs to get done? So today, it was a fan clutch. Sorry, dude, not letting you in. You see this traffic? You should have planned better. I paid out the door 400 and, sheesh, like $50, something like that, $460 out the door. No, bro, you're not getting over. That's not even a turning lane. Know your role. People drive crazy out here. I'm just trying to... Yeah, anyway, I left Midas, so I'm, I'm on my way to go park for the night. I'm going to go get some dinner and chill. Um, I have, like, a little, like, spending fatigue where I'm just, like, I'm not tired. Work was easy and slow today, and I, I've just basically just been waiting in an auto shop, air-conditioned, nonetheless. However, waiting for them to take my money or something else that I needed on this van it was $460 and some change. But I'm not overheating, literally. Coolant's good, I'm not overheating. Um, my next thing that I'll have to tack tackle, which I've been putting this off, will be my oil leaking. I've had an oil leak in this van since I bought it. That, that was with the as is. I stopped first, buddy. You're gonna wait. That's what right of way means. These people are aggressive out here. I done pass my turn because these people are so eager. You know what? I'm gonna just keep going. I don't even want to be on this side. I don't even want to be on this side. Um triggered by the traffic. Ooh, I got a little break in there. Thank you. Won't he do it? Yo, so like about, it was about a week ago, a little over a week ago. I did not make a video on it. I'm pretty sure because I don't remember uh, ranting about it. But a little over a week ago, I did something stupid. I ran a red light in downtown Forsyth County, Georgia, and immediately got pulled over. I immediately got pulled over for running a red light. It was my fault. It was a turning light. I was turning left, and 
it was yellow when I was turning, but it was definitely red when I turned. And I got pulled over immediately. Guy gave me a ticket, of course. I did the crime, I do the time. I got a $150 ticket for running a red light. $150, it was like $140, $150 for running a red light. It happened like two Fridays ago, one Friday ago, last Friday, some shit like that. And I paid that ticket, um, basically right away. I knew I was in the wrong. However, this guy tried to give me a lecture. He gave me a, um, a lecture about my plates not being registered in Georgia. They're registered, I'll check my numbers, you know, all my paperwork is legit. My insurance, my registration, um, my tags, my plates, they're all from Colorado. Um, and that's really only because Colorado's got the best license plates, hands down, in America. I can go on a rant about that, but just real quick, my top three license plates, Colorado, number one, for sure. A lot of people are gonna hate me for this one. California, got the best, second best plates, and Hawaii. If, if, I don't, if I can't get plates from those three states, I don't, I don't really want them. So miss me with all that shit. But I got oh, a verbal warning for not having my plates. Um, even though I've been visiting for more than 90 days. It'll be one year. I cannot believe that I've been in Georgia in Forsyth County for almost a year in like June. It'll be almost a year in June. So I've been here for over 90 days and I just think it's just kind of bullshit. First off, like in this day, I, I, I was like just uh, every now and then I get like, you know, silly and I look on Craigslist just for shits and giggles just to see what the going rate is for an apartment, just like a studio apartment um, where I'm at, <laughs> just to see what the fuck they're dealing with. I saw a studio apartment like 10 miles away from here where I am right now for $1,800 and 50, $1,850 a month for a studio apartment. Like you walk in and you see the whole apartment in this big studio apartment building, apartment complex, where you're stacked on top of each other, you're paying $1,800, almost $1,900 a month for a studio apartment, which is insane. And then on top of that, you got all this bureaucratic bullshit when they say, hey, as an American citizen, as someone who was born in America, you know, I have a birth certificate, I can't move to any state, any 50 states, maybe even Puerto Rico, I can't move to any state and with nothing to my name and be able to uh, afford a studio apartment within 90 days. Do the math, it, it does not check out. Go to any state as an American citizen, like you have the right to be here, you have the right to work, you have the right to live, all this freedom bullshit that they're preaching. Go to a state with nothing in your hand and get a job and then work and, and then do what you gotta do, and then try and get yourself the smallest studio apartment in that city within 90 days. It's 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 physically impossible. It's it's crazy impossible. I don't and I don't I don't understand how you're supposed to how you're supposed to do it. I think it's bullshit. Why does it matter where my vehicle is registered? If I have an address or not, so long as somebody's getting my money, right? I pay somebody every year. One of my friends actually was venting about this with one of my friends in Colorado, and he was saying that, well, they take the money that you give to the registration people and they put that towards the roads. So if you're not registered in that state, they don't have the money to fix the roads, but you're still driving in that state. It's like you're taking advantage of all of the state's benefits, but you're not paying any of those state taxes. But I'm paying Colorado. I'm paying for the streets in Colorado, even though I'm not even driving on the motherfuckers. Somebody's getting the money. So what the fuck does it matter? Just take the money from Georgia then. Some, so anyway, that's my little rant about my, uh, my ticket that I got. And how it's just, that's uh, the odds are stacked against you trying to make it in America these days, and it's wild. Um, how they can go around and like basically criminalize homelessness. Like they're not, <laughs> anyway. 
I'm gonna go eat and that's it, thanks for watching.